brought to you by Zwift. Explore, train, and compete on the indoor cycling app where fun is fast. Gregor, let's talk about the Russian team ban that has recently come from the UCI in the last 24 hours. Um, I am not necessarily shocked, but more so, you know, I knew that there was going to be this, this call and this statement from the UCI. And as of yesterday, they said Russian and Belarusian cycling teams are banned from all international cycling events. This is insane, but also understandable. Right. I mean, you, you really feel like the, um, uh, the war is in the neighborhood. It, it's so close to Europe and, and, um, and Russia is involved with Gazprom with sponsorship in, in European football, soccer, major way. And of course, one of the top cycling teams, Gazprom is a second division pro team. It's one of the teams that the UCI listed yesterday, yesterday when you and I were going back and forth in Slack, talking about this subject that is uh, banned indefinitely until um, until the situation hopefully resolves for the better. And um, not only that, but World Cups, uh, any activities for the Russian or Belarusian teams. Now, this does not include uh, Russian or Belarusian riders who are riding for foreign licensed teams. So that includes like Pavel Sivikov, who put out a statement on Twitter. Um, and that also includes uh, Vlasov, who we were speaking about earlier writing. There's you see Sivikov's statement, and that's a great statement. I think, uh, let's remind our viewers and everyone else, you know, it's not the Russians who want this conflict. It's, it's Vladimir Putin, and we see Sivikov kind of underlining that too. So uh, support out to our Russian writing friends and... Um, and let's hope uh, this ban on on the teams and the Russian and Belarusian organizations will help move this conflict to an end. 